respectful of the ecology that defines what it is that you, at your deepest level of intention, want to achieve as a woman. So I have a comment on that, if it's okay to, to proceed. So it's coming to my mind that actually what you have been training us is being so independent that my unconscious actually knows what the hell to be done at that point. It's, it's <laughs> like that kind of, con you know, that kind of congruency. It just knows, you know, it just knows. I mean, how many uh, pounds do I do my body need to pick today? It knows I just need to be there. And how do I need to be there? Also, it knows how do I need to be there? Kind of, right. you know, right. So, right. So, so that's you, one. Your example, your example triggered a, an image I'll pass on to you. If you ever have the opportunity to be with Carmen when she goes um, to a smorgasbord where you go through the line and there's different foods and you, you'll, you'll see her do a certain pattern. She'll walk through the line looking and smelling and possibly touching, if it's appropriate, the different food choices which are available in the cafeteria. She won't take anything on the first run. She'll sample to find out what's available. Then she'll go back with her tray and she'll pause. And you can see the decision being made smoothly, automatically and consciously about, do I want this now that I know what the full set of choices are and how much? And, and she goes very quickly from that point on. And of course, her, her weight is maintained very nicely by this. And notice she she wants to know, her unconscious wants to know what's available. If you're presented with a series of choices piecemeal, one after the other, you don't have that same global appreciation of what the choices are, the whole range, nor how much time to spend on those. So the metaphor of the way that she selects at uh, a smorgasbord is a nice metaphor for what I think you're talking about. So brilliant. And there is a linguist, uh, the, the word quickly. I, I caught up on that as, as just what you're saying. It's like, you know, your unconscious is just telling you to do the, the task. Don't think too much about it. Just do it. Like, you know, putting into too much of the, the let, quick. Let me, let, me let me propose a slightly different verbalization. The unconscious doesn't tell you what it's going to do. You have released it to do what it wants to do because you trust it to make those decisions uh, in your best interest and uh, according to your intentions. It, so, you don't have to know. Exactly the point. I need not have to know if I want to or choose to sometimes at a point specifically. And I have, I am I'm at a point where I would like to pass this knowledge or whatever, in a way congruently to the clients with whom I'm working with, that there is no need for you. Yeah, you know, I have to do this, 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 unconscious, come on, let's do this, 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 doing the, how do we cleanly pass this, that it just happens. This, this is at a point where I am. You're a dancer. In order to achieve the fluidity, the beauty, the movement, and synchronization with the music that you're dancing to, whether it's external or internal, you cannot think in terms of pieces of movement of your body. It's an entire commitment of your body. And from that flows the fluidity and the beauty of the dance itself. Dance well, my friend. That's my answer. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else on this issue of, <laughs> it seems like we slipped back to metaphor and tasking, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, distribution of tasks by competency uh, between conscious and unconscious. And most importantly of all, let me once again emphasize that connection that 
the uh, involuntary signals give you from unconscious to conscious and any way of delivering it, especially, I think, for most people, uh, linguistically formed requests, suggestions, proposals, invitations to the dance from your conscious to the unconscious. But once the unconscious accepts the invitation to the dance, it's got to move on its own. It cannot be following directions and it, it is going to fulfill the intention which 